Hi, everyone, and welcome to our presentation this afternoon. We titled it, What's This All About Anyway? <laughs> um, just an opportunity to share about the business uh, and the products, not that they are separate things, but we also know that um, you know, different audiences are kind of interested in, in different parts of it. So we'll spend about, oh, I don't know, we'll try to power through about 25 minutes or so, uh, just kind of going over a little bit of the business, the history of the company, um, some of the reasons that we um, do this business and what could be in it um, for you. And oftentimes too, um, clients just love that awesome discount that you get as a consultant. So maybe understanding too, some of the ins and outs would be great. And then the second half will really dive in and be product focused. So I think you'll learn a lot, um, no matter which part you're really dialing into or turning, tuning into. Um, I'm super excited. I'm Bridget Cavanaugh. Um, I have been with the company 11 years. And to, I'm just as excited today as the day I started. <laughs> My business partner there, gorgeously um, uh, outfitted in red, Lisa. So Lisa, say hi. Hi, everyone. Am I unmuted, I think? Yeah. My name is Lisa Hawker. I'm really excited to be with you guys today. It is really, really fun to collaborate and work together to share the business that we are so passionate about and the products that we love. Uh, so welcome and thanks for spending some time with us this afternoon. Awesome. And you guys are going to learn about us more and more. I'm going to peel back the onion a little bit as we go. Um, and let me put this in presentation mode. I think I can still see everyone. And then that way, our oh, let's just play this video. Okay. Can everyone hear it? I can't figure out what you guys can hear, and I've got my volume. Well, we'll, we'll recap it here in two seconds. I'm sorry. Here, you're watching with me, Mom. Hmm? Awesome. Um, the uh, sound there, I'm not sure what's going on because we've played that before on other um, groups and it's been fine. So we'll see because I do have another one I want to show you. Maybe we'll test it out just a little bit, but this business is a very kind of why and goal driven business. So if we're, you know, what's this all about anyway? Really kind of diving into, you know, the reasons um, people do the business, the caliber of men and women um, involved with organic fields. We're just a magnet for, you know, talented, accomplished, um, uh, authentic, giving individuals. And um, we'll share you know, some of those stories, both in the before and afters, and some of the stories about the business too. Um, so I want to, we guys experiment, if the sound isn't good on this, I won't play it, but I, I just want to kind of experiment, <laughs> figure out. So I want to play pandas. It's like a two minute story, but let's, um, so you guys kind of give me like a yes, it sounds great or no. So let's, let's talk about some whys here just for a minute. Hi, 
everyone, my name is Panda Prudisarini Corman, and I'm coming at you from Los Angeles, California. I'm an immigrant. I grew up in a very poor neighborhood of East Los Angeles and then made it out. My parents were great and supportive, but they worked all the time also. They put me in these like after school programs and I think it kept me out of trouble. I'm a mom of two. I have an eight year old and a five year old and I'm also an anesthesiologist. About five and a half years ago, I was just tired. I had a two year old at the time and I would feel guilty because I was working 60, 70 hours a week at the hospital and I love my job. I just didn't want to do it 80 hours a week. My physician friend who I trained with was selling skincare and I needed skincare. I realized that my work badge and what I saw in the mirror no longer met. And so I started using the products and people started asking about my skin. So then I thought, man, maybe I could do this. This just changed our whole family dynamic. We realized that it wasn't necessarily money that we needed, it was time. So it basically saved us. The business has been really a mindset shift. It made me a much better person diversity, with the exposure, it's here the different mindset. And perhaps I was growing up in an underserved area and being told I couldn't do things, surrounding myself with people that are like, you work hard, you can do it. That exposure was really powerful and empowering. I think all those things build your belief. And so I want to be able to pass that type of belief onto others. I'm in the position I'm in because people saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. I just want to be able to do that for other people too. Look at you now. I, love, I call her my panda corn because she's just, you know, combination of panda and unicorn. Uh, Lisa, um, you know, we haven't really shared a little bit about kind of where we're from and what kinds of things are swirling around in our world. So we'd love to have you just make a more detailed introduction. Sure. So um, I am originally from New York. I am in California now, Orange County, California, close to panda, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Um, I spent 21 years as a trial attorney. First, I was a prosecutor, uh, and then I was a criminal defense attorney for the balance of um, almost 21 years. Um, and you know, I had four kids in four years, and so Panda's story really resonates with me. A portion of it, in that I spent most of my time, if not all of my time, either running to court, in court going to another court and missing much of my, uh, my kid's childhood. So I started out looking for something that was gonna create some time balance, some freedom for me, maybe take a few less criminal court cases and spend a little bit more time home. And it turns out that I ended up absolutely just being blown away by the opportunity, um, by how much more fun this job is than I thought it would be. Um, and I no longer practice law, so almost four years in now, and I'm home full time with my kids who are teenagers now. Um, so I'm, I'm so lucky to have found this. Yeah, and I, and I found you, so we found you. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Bridget Kavanaugh, I'm coming to you from Montana. Um, I think kind of proof that you can do this business from anywhere, you know, I, there's more bison than people. <laughs> where I live and it's you know the fact that I have a global business with partners in Japan and Canada and Australia and you know never would have guessed that I was kind of owned a marketing agency in the big downturn of 08 and you know this was like a lifeboat for me and I um, as I sold my firm I jumped into Rodana Fields and you know my thought was I've hitched my wagon to several big, you know, corporations and high tech companies, but a woman owned entrepreneurial giving, um, this is their second, you know, this, I mean, I started probably 11 years ago, so we weren't a billion dollar brand then we were just getting started, but I knew it would be, and they did too. So I love our community, um, love all that I've learned. I've become I'm just becoming a better version of myself every day, I think. Um, I want you guys to hear one more story before we dive into kind of the more nuts and bolts of the business. My name is Andrea Schick, 
And I am 40 years old. My family was a huge influence. I come from a long line of strong matriarchs. I was raised in a very Christian family and my faith is very important to me. When I was younger, I was a competitive soccer player and I had a knee injury that ended my career because I had a lot of rehab. Now I'm a physical therapist. I was really driven professionally. I still am very committed. We have two kids at home. Our oldest passed away two years ago. It's a huge part of me and my path in life and it's inseparable to my journey with Rebecca Fields. During that time, I was like, I have this skincare business and what do I do with this? And so I decided to keep going and kind of obsessed with the idea of resilience and what that means. It actually helped me survive that period of time just to feel that community was really powerful. They have each other's backs no matter what and they're doing life together, not just doing business together. The very first thing that got me into the brand was the science behind it. I use mostly redefine and reverse and of course the amp and roller and my lovely radiant defense. It makes me feel like I'm aging gracefully. I love the products. I love the community. I like the fun that it brings into my life. Being able to dress up and go to events and host events. We have started fundraising for the Children's Hospital in his name. I partnered with my Rodan Fields business and we put on an event and we raised $3,000 for this fund. There's a bigger vision behind this in a way that it can encourage other people. That story of resilience, that's how my business started. It was a blessing in my life. And if I made it through those first three months in my business, I can make it through anything. Look at you now. <clears throat> I could probably just stop right there. Um, um, but we will. We'll, we'll dive in. Um, I think you're getting the message that uh, we're about, you know, we are about skincare, but we're about more than skincare, building a community. Um, empowering these kind of global e-commerce businesses and the, the world's a very big place when it comes to skincare. We're empowering our consultants, obviously. Um, we empower the, our consumers, our just our super loyal customers, and we love to do good through our company um, foundation, um, as well as those of us individually, you know, doing good with our business. So, um, Here's some, you know, media raves and actually on the next slide, um, Lisa, I have the piece that you sent me this morning. So maybe you could talk about, because you texted it to me right away. I was like, oh, I'm going to put this in the presentation. I just, I'll let you talk about that. But, um, you know, here's the thing. I came from this world of public relations and we don't pay for any of this. This is all on merit. This is all on because our stuff is amazing and the media love to write about us they love to use our products uh, there's so many that you know our stuff comes in for testing and reviews of whatever article they're writing and then those editors become lifelong customers as well and then lisa you sent me this one this morning and there's no sound but <laughs> just tell me what you thought when you saw that well, I was excited about it. So it, it, you know, Birdie is a publication for those of you who are, may not be familiar with it. I was not familiar with it prior to joining Rodan and Fields. It's a publication that is um, an authority on skincare and beauty. Um, and one of the editors just published yesterday, the article is dated February 12th. Um, and I just thought it was so interesting how they described the success of Drs. Rodan and Fields' first business venture, which was proactive and called Rodan and Fields the more sophisticated older sister, but not in a negative way, just a really sort of elegant, um, glamorous way. And of course she fell in love with our products and um, wanted to write a, just a glowing article about it. And it is great because we don't have a brick and mortar store. Our store is all online and our store is our, our, our faces, right? Our, we walk around and we're a product of the products. So when you get some kind of third party validation, um, you know, who raves about our stuff and our doctors and our company and are doing good um, through our PC or through our um, foundation, and in Japan, there's a different one that's centered around kids, but it, it's that third party validation that really um, solidifies your, your credibility with your network as you are trying to um, introduce these products to your friends and family. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I, 
read through it. And I think I was blown away by how many products she had in the article. It wasn't like she was just like in one little mention. I was like, here's the 12 products, you know? And you guys, that's the opportunity with this business too, is to, you know, our consumers, I mean, they're using sunscreen and sunless tanner and makeup wipes, makeup remover. And, you know, the opportunity, because we're talking about the business here is in, is in that owning the bathroom county, you know? And um, we're number one for a reason where I'll kind of power through some of these slides, but you know, we're, we're doing incredible things with our packaging and our ingredients and really um, moving in kind of the direction of, of lowering our footprint um, when it comes to our manufacturing, but we're expanding our footprint when it comes to our global geography. We are in four countries right now. We've been told that a fifth is on the timeline and in development. And when we opened Japan just this June, um, we were working, our kind of advanced team was working in Japan five years before that launch, making sure that our products were tightly tuned to the Japanese market and how, because the Japanese women have a very different um, textile kind of utilization of, of skincare as well as, um, you know, ingredients and all that. So anyway, and that's why we have all this great press coming out of places like Japan and Canada, um, U.S., everywhere. But, you know, we're the whole thing. We're the whole package. The give back piece, the tech piece, um, you know, the order system, like all of that super streamlined business that you can really run in a very with very limited time um, and even limited experience. Um, you know, you bring your experience to the table and blend it with everything that we have. Is there anything on here, Lisa, um, that um, we didn't rehearse or anything, but that <laughs> you want to jump on or add to? Maybe I missed something too. Well, you know, not only are the publications um, talking about how we're number one, but the, the truth of it is that the, the system that the doctors employed of step one, step two, step three, multi-med therapy, um, the right ingredients in the right order, the reason, one of the reasons why people see so much success in, in their product and their, their skin is that they're getting the results that the products say that they're going to get. And that's what makes us number one. Um, the products do what they say they're going to do. So I think that's an important, if, if there are people on this call that maybe are interested in um, starting their own e-commerce business through with Rodan and Fields, this okay. is a plug and play business, right? Just like the products are plug and play. They show up on your doorstep. There's a one, two, 3 a.m. cream, 3 p.m. cream. Well, same thing with your business. So um, yeah, I think we can go to the next slide. Yeah. Um, and just, you know, what I love is that anti-aging, just anti-aging, and we have a lot of products like acne and sensitive skin that sit outside of aging. There's a $4.4 billion market. And even with our size, and this, we've had too much success these years, we only have 8.1% of the market as of you know, the end of 2019. And in Canada, we have 3.6%. And in Australia, we have 3%. And Japan is a bigger market than I think both Canada and Australia combined. So, you know, the opportunity, you know, we're just scratching the surface. Um, you mentioned the four countries. We have about 33% brand awareness. Let's go back and think about those numbers. We have 33% brand awareness. Let's just take in the US, but only 8% using it. So, what that tells me, am I going to do my math right here? Um, to, what, 25% of the people out there have awareness, but they're not using it. Now there's 75% who, or not 75, but what, 60, 67, who don't even know who we are, but, but one out of four people know who we are and are using the product check. That is opportunity. Um, and we have new innovations um, coming every year, Lisa and I were on a little call yesterday. Okay, so that's all I can say about that. Um, <laughs> you know, we don't do inventory. We're not a party plan company. Um, our adaptation, our ability to pivot, we didn't actually have to pivot that far, to be honest, in the whole COVID. And it, if anything, the world pivoted to us, right? Like we kind of, we're always online. We, 
we never did inventory. We were never really a party plan. Um, we're kind of more of a cocktail party. <laughs> we get together and have, uh, have cocktails. We even call them cocktails and conversation. Uh, we still do that. It's just on Zoom. Um, everything is done for you. Um, the company handles the marketing and the, you know, your order systems and you track your, your income and your earnings and your team and, you know, just your training, like everything is really done for you. And so you're just kind of bringing your passion um, and your goals to the table. And this is just a sample of, you know, just some of the marketing that we can go into our back office, click on our phone, download, throw on a story, be on with our day, right? Go off, you know, to the day job or, you know, to spend time with the kids or whatever it takes. So do you miss any of that? Do you, I mean, I, I love our business more now. <laughs> you know, um, in this kind of post COVID dynamics, right? Of just the efficiency of how we operate and do business. You know, if I can just chime in, you know, for me, when I first started the business, I had, um, I had a, uh, a child in high school as a freshman. Um, my second child was in middle school and my twins, number three and four, they were in elementary school. So I was busy getting myself ready for court, driving these children to three different schools and then getting to court on time. And then the race would start in the afternoon. So when I added this to my plate as sort of a plan B, let's see what happens with this type of thing. Um, the thing I appreciated so much about it is that it was a plug and play business. It's all done for me. I did not need to reinvent the wheel. I don't need to make my own beautiful images. All of the images that you see here on the screen were corporate images. They have a gorgeous um, marketing department. Um, this job truly is about bringing what your skills are and applying them in this area. And you won't know exactly how to do that until you jump in with both feet and you start collaborating with your team and your sponsor um, and kind of diving in and, and seeing how you can succeed with your skill set. But um, you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. Mm -hmm. wow. So that, that's one of the things I absolutely loved when I first started the business and love to this day. Yeah. Um, running your, run your business from your phone you know, and your laptop, you could do this call from your, you could do everything from your phone if you want. What I love is it puts a world of customers kind of in your pocket, in your, you know, in your cross body, like whatever you prefer, <laughs> in your back pocket, um, wherever you carry your phone. And so RNF is just going to bring all those tools to you. I always love the idea of competing with Nordstrom and, you know, Macy's and Sephora and the makeup counter. Like, that's our competition in Rodan and Fields is we get to deliver a better experience. You know, that, that close-knit relationship that I have with my customers, um, the way that we stay in touch, the way I know these things about their, about their skin, about you know, how their makeup went on when they went to, out for Valentine's Day. <laughs> All, you could never have that, never have that relationship um, with a box store. Um, so we just have a couple more slides, honestly, about the business. And, you know, I wanted to talk just for a minute about, you heard some stories before, but, you know, I'm kind of just drawing from some really recent conversations about, you know, moms and actually have a lot of very kind of just post high school going into college age women that are, one, rocking the business. Um, I love, Thomas, that your daughter is, you know, coming out of esthetician school and she's already thinking diversified income streams. But the opportunity to have something just for you, um, you know, one girl just said, I want to know what comes next. You know, this, I think we have been living by rules that none of us anticipated. Some of us, you know, may or may not like living by, and we don't know what's coming next. <laughs> and that desire to kind of bring some of that control, is my kid going to school or not going to school? Am I going to work or am I not going to work? You know, can I have some control over people? So being your own boss, having a creative outlet, you know, being a part of um, women empowering women. And, you know, this is um, Jen Tim. So I think Jen's on the call. I used your family photo because it's just gorgeous. But, um, you know, um, Jen was, she was, she was, um, you weren't saying you were married, but she was 
you know, footloose, you know, kind of just, um, just her and her husband traveling all over. And, and now they just got back from Nashville with their two little boys. But I know that, she, you know, she and others, and this was me and my kids were, my kids were second and third grade, first and second grade. And now they're uh, freshmen in college and senior in high school. <laughs> um, time flies. I will tell you this. My kids, and, and Lisa, I think you can agree, um, they got to watch their mom work at home. Got to, you know, you kids would never come see you in court, right? Your kids would never come, come to my office and watch me, you know, write headlines or present concepts to a client. We, badasses, right? But our families, <laughs> they don't get to see it in action. And that's what I love about this business is, you know, I got to just move my office to my kitchen table and, and do those things that I'm good at, which is empowering others. I got good at a lot of things I didn't know I could do, um, but you get to call the shots, get to be 100% present. For me, I'm now putting two kids through school, two kids with apartments, two kids with vehicles. Um, yes, they have jobs to offset that, but this business saved my bacon um, because I don't think with my particular financial skills that I would be in a position today to pay for all that and go ride horses in Arizona when I'm not working. So <laughs> I think you said some of this already, Lisa, but if it sparks anything for you, um, jump in and, and share um, any stories or anything that you, that's on top of your mind. I think one of the bigger blessings for me has been that my kids have been able um, to watch me jump into something that I knew nothing about and succeed at it. And, and that lesson, you know, especially with boys, although since I only have boys, I wouldn't know girls, but I think demonstrating what you preach, doing it in front of them on a daily basis. My son, one bedroom is over that way, one is over that way. They hear me, they see me working, they see the, the effort that I put in, and then they get to see me enjoy the rewards. And so I hope that the unspoken lesson here is you can do anything that you set your mind to, and all you have to do is try. And I love, I love being able to demonstrate that physically every single day for them. Love that, love that. We're gonna leave that, that's a legacy to be left. So um, let's start getting down kind of the nitty gritty. Um, Seely, hey, look who that is. Um, so <laughs> I think we've already talked about this kind of community you can lean on and learn from. Um, the opportunities to kind of ignite your passion. I always ask people when they're, you know, in those kind of stages of just um, starting their business, you know, who are the, the people, the passion, the projects that you want to fund, right? Um, if it's a personal passion or it's a person's education, um, and a lot of women who want to retire their spouses, those kinds of things. Um, you know, Rodana Fields really puts some awesome bonuses um, and kind of start it because we know how important those first couple of paychecks are. You know, can I do this? Is it going to be worth it? You know, one, we're going to help you do it. And two, we're going to show you that it's worth it. And so this isn't, you know, this isn't, um, this isn't pocket change. You know, um, you can work it as a hobby and you can work it like a business. Um, some people start as a hobby and it grows into a business. Some people start as a business and it changes into a hobby. It can really be anything that you want. Um, <coughs> the timing's optimal. Um, there's my little picture with something in my hand I can't talk about, but, um, Lisa, just as we got off our RFX call yesterday, I know we were both excited and we're fortunate enough. We're both under NDA, but we do get, you know, advanced information. Um, so we just tease it all the time until it comes out, but just what were some of your things you were excited about as you got off yesterday's leader call with the doctors? So, so can I ask? So yeah. is 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 this strictly sales of products? Is there any involvement as far as um, the procedures? Like my alley, my daughter has been in school to actually learn how to do the microcurrent procedures, things like this. Is this strictly sales? of products well oh, okay so i'm getting i'm going to answer that kind of in two different ways and actually the next slide might help too because we're going to look a little bit about kind of picking your paycheck in this business but 
It is sales. Um, when we sell products, actually, it's kind of buried down here underneath the little thing. Oh, I can't change it because I'm in presentation mode. Sorry, let me go back. Um, we are in 30% commissions on all the products that we sell. We're not a treatment okay. company at all. Um, however, we do have tools. You know, it's not, I don't think we have anything that, well, our, our pore MD is like an extraction tool for pores. Um, the, the doctors developed it explicitly from their experience and from their offices, because both of them are still practicing dermatologists. Our micro exfoliating roller is an at-home device or an at-home tool that, you know, is a procedure you can have done by an esthetician or a dermatologist. So, um, you know, I think there's a lot of neat ways that this could dovetail in because there's procedures, but then your clients go home to their bathrooms and what do they use between procedures? So I see for someone like your daughter, the unique opportunity to offer, you know, something only, you know, only that can only happen in some kind of esthetician or derm office, but, or, you know, have them grow a business outside. And what I find mm -hmm. with anyone who has an office-based business, like a hairstylist, like a, you know, like an esthetician, right. any kind of uh, office, oh, a booth in a, in a, in a building or, or yeah. something, yeah. yeah. You know, you're limited to the traffic that can come visit in about a 10 mile radius. So um, that's what's nice about this business. Those referrals from those happy clients can really grow. Um, far yeah. beyond anything. Yeah. Can I interject? Yeah, go ahead, Lisa. Yeah. So I, I think that that Maybe. was a really... Oh, go ahead, Lisa. Go ahead, Thomas. Go ahead, Thomas. No, I said, yeah, please, Lisa, interject. Yeah, so I think it's a great question. And I have a really good friend who is an esthetician. She doesn't work with anyone else. She sees her customers and clients in sort of a smaller spa space. And, and what I envision for your daughter is um, estheticians generally sell one or more lines of skincare products that they're using during their treatment. So if you've ever gone for like to Burke Williams or another type of spa or to an esthetician, they always make a list of the products that they used on you. Um, and if you choose to buy it after the treatment, great, if not, whatever. Your, your daughter can carry the entire line um, for her customers. But in addition to selling product to her customers, she can sell product to their teenagers who are suffering from acne um, mm -hmm. To her parents, the customer's parents, aging parents, I have so many 70 year old plus women who you not only use the skincare, but enjoy things like the lash boost, which we haven't talked about yet, and the brow boost, which we haven't talked about. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, that was good Lord Bird. It was really good, but I just, but it was just like no, he yelled at people, talking? people yelled at him, and then they. And then that was the next episode. The 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 I'm, I'm just trying to find, I just wasn't ready to find the little. Okay. So Thomas, um, yes, this pro this business is, is based on product sales. However, the business is also a residual income business, which means um, she can build a team underneath her. So she would, let's say, um, sign up five of her friends, family, whoever, as her business partners who are direct to her. And she earns a percentage off of all of the sales that they make to their customers, okay? okay. And that level one of direct business partners, which let's just pretend for, for, for right now that you know, your business partner one, Fred is business partner two, uh, Charlie is business partner three, that can be a hundred people wide. Okay, so she's earning 10% uh, of all her, those people sales. So while she's sleeping, other people are working. And for that her, can, basically. Say again? For her, basically, as far as for themselves, her. For themselves, because we're all independent but, contractors. But money for her as well. Correct. Now, remember, Thomas, this can go five levels deep. So yeah. here she's here. You, Fred, Charlie, Adam, Ed Edward, and Eric are underneath her. And then all you people sign up 10 people and they sign up. It is not a pyramid scheme. It is a, just like a corporation where there's a president, a vice president of marketing and directing and blah, 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 blah. And 
it takes the shape of a pyramid when we visualize it out. Yeah. But it's a, it's a legal money generating. It can be an endless source of income for your daughter as she's grinding through. See, your daughter, what's beautiful about this for hairdressers, for, for anybody really, is there's only one us. So I could only make a, a number of income based on how many cases I took and completed yeah. for court. However, here well, we can build a team of 20,000 people over time. Sure. So it's not yeah, just product no, sales. Yeah. I totally understand what you're saying. Great. Um, and I've got a quote um, too. Oh, sorry. And I, I think Bridget knows this. Uh, Lisa, you probably don't. You, you know Stephanie Finnegan. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's on our team. Yeah, I think she joined the call here a little bit ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we went to prom in senior year together. Love it. And... <laughs> And Stephanie has been talking with my daughter, Allie, and has said, you know, hey, you can continue, you can move forward with doing what you want to do, which is facial treatments, esthetician stuff. Um, my daughter, Allie's school, uh, their big line that they carry that I told Stephanie about um, is image skincare, and um, and Stephanie said that she hadn't heard of image before, but I told Stephanie, you know, I got a gift from someone uh, eight months ago of a skin cleanser from this. Uh, I didn't recognize it. Rodan, Rodan and Fields. It was a skin cleanser, so I used it, and you know, until the bottle was empty. And I think I looked damn good, but uh, but um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, Ali definitely wants to continue pursuing because what what her what she really wants to do is move into the body shaping the whole like plastic surgery arena but now that i especially with me buying her all this equipment she's really just ecstatic mm -hmm. about instead of use using the schools the image skincare products is getting involved with you guys and using the anti-aging, the acne, because she also, I for Christmas, got her the, which she did on Stephanie the other day, the red light LED bridge. And um, so- Yeah, it sounds, um, it sounds really, really exciting. Um, and her future seems really bright. And it, she's so smart to get involved um, in multiple areas that are gonna complement um, one another. The two tools that we do sell, which I think um, we're gonna get to in a screen or two, um, she will be able to use them on her customers and then help them learn how to use it on themselves so that they can take it home and continue the treatment. And that's gonna spread like wildfire, word of mouth. Yeah. Um, Bridget, did you wanna go through this? You know, yeah, oh, so, oh. So one more and, thing, really oh, quick. So a couple other folks on, go ahead. Really quick. Yeah. So my oven is going off, I gotta go. Okay. But Bridget, you're, you're recording this and you're gonna give it to Steph so she right. can send it to me for my daughter to watch. Yeah. Yeah, because we'll do products here in just a couple minutes. So absolutely. And thank you for the great okay. question. Yep. Thank you guys so much. Lisa, yeah. nice to meet you. Nice Thanks. to meet you. Um, All right. You know, and it brings up a great point. You know, Thomas, you know, and other businesses. In my advertising agency, I had to rent space and buy computers and, you know, pay staff and all the things. And, you know, we're talking about, about a very capital, not intensive business at all. <laughs> it's a $75 yeah enrollment fee um you know where you're getting and you also and you also have to think about professional liability insurance uh, and yeah. all that stuff you know yeah. it, it can be very very expensive yeah. but uh absolutely i think i think my daughter finally has a good head on her shoulders and i'm really 
you know, she's number one in her, her class. So I, I, you know, but anyway, guys, I got to go. Nice, nice talking with you all. I don't want to burn the enchiladas. Okay. <laughs> Arriba. 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 Take care. Take care. Right. So starting, you know, with the business, you know, you're jumping in with, um, you know, the brochures and the samples. <laughs> Our products just sample so brilliantly. Um, I, I can't tell you how many customers and new business partners have, have joined my team because they tried one thing in the business. So we are going to get to the products here in just a minute. Um, but it's really awesome. You can start your business for $75. Then um, you have a VIP box that's yours to um, shop and fill the cart and you're getting 55% off your first order. Um, incredible. So you can get your regimen and then your lash boost and you know, we're actually going to share some of our favorites here in a few minutes and really kind of customize for yourself and even people in your home, um, all the things. So, um, so that's kind of the getting started piece. Um, anything you want to add there? Jen? No. Okay. Nope. Jen. Sorry, I'm looking at Jen Tim. I called you Jen. Uh, <laughs> and then, you know, we won't go through this in like detail, detail, because um, I know we have folks that just, we want to dive in on the products here in a minute, but you know, one of the things we love to sit down with a, a new consultant or somebody looking at the business is saying, you know what, you get to pick your paycheck, okay? You get to call the shots. The income potential is on your timeline and your terms. Like Lisa said, you're in business for yourself and not by yourself. And, um, you know, first, I will tell you, I was in business two weeks and my first paycheck was right around $250. I was driving a car that had a $250 car payment at the time, a little Honda Civic um, hybrid. <laughs> um, I was thrilled. I was absolutely thrilled um, to have just that extra income flowing in. And it was, it was around four customers. And, um, and then, you know, in that next month, I was able to parlay it much closer to my mortgage and just continually growing my customer base by just sharing and talking to people. But I also realized that I wasn't the only one. I wasn't the only one that needed a great side gig, that wanted my car paid for, that wanted you know my house, my mortgage payment, my extra bills, and really pretty quickly started to build a team. And so that's what this um, you know kind of looks at is you know what if you had two team members doing about the same mm -hmm. as you because you're earning more money on your own business. And that's why I think it was great that, you know, Lisa pointed out to Thomas, like, you know, if you build a team, they're in business for themselves too. And they're earning the most on their business. Um, there is that residual to you and to, you know, myself or whoever is, you know, kind of upline you're joining, but we're, you know, we're in the, we got our sleeves rolled up too, because when your team is successful, when my team is successful, Lisa's team, um, that's when we get a little piece of that success too. And so if you had two business partners kind of doing what you're doing for customers each, you know, boom. And this doesn't count some fun bonuses and things that we have. And if you're like, no, I need to, I need to cover the mortgage and then some. And you're like, I need to be in that thousand dollar category. <laughs> and you want to have, you know, 14 customers, we're here to help you do that too. So, um, but then if you look in that, that column over there, Again, if you had team members kind of doing the same thing as you, you really have that opportunity to go kind of exponential with your business. So is there anything on here, Lisa, that, that you want to interpret better than I did? But um, No, okay. no, no, it's good. <laughs> All right. So I just like to let you know that you get to call the shots um, in your own business based on um, your customers. So I'm trying to think, I think we kind of wrapped it up. We touched on, I think we got a little bit sidetracked when we were here, but just want to let you know too, um, there's just nothing better I think than being, and this is something that a lot of new consultants um, say as they start to earn those bonuses. And, you know, I've never been recognized like this before. I've never been, <laughs> had been told what a great job I'm doing um, before. And just to be a part of, you know, this community. And then, so if you enjoy that recognition and it comes in all sorts of forms, you know, financial or, you know, 
um, bling or um, just, you know, somebody calling you and saying, great job, you know, putting a post on your social media wall and letting you know. And if that give back piece is important too. So it's really all about kind of where your goals are and your goals get to grow and change um, as you go with the company. Um, so good, yeah, see Lisa busy in the chat. So thank you for that. If you want to check out some of her comments there. Um, if you're interested in getting started, it literally takes five minutes to start your business. Um, and, you know, even some customers who are like, I want, you know, I want to get that and that and that and that and that. Well, you should look at the, <laughs> the 55% off. You can choose to build a business or not build a business. Um, getting that business starter pack does not um, dictate that you have to build a business. It just means you get that nice big discount on that first order. So you do have options, which is great. And next we'll kind of dive into um, the product piece. Um, product talk. So I feel like we're running a little bit long, Lisa, so I'm not going to do the um, solution tool, but just know that each of us on our websites have, it's, we all have the same website, um, but we have a, a little quiz that you can take, you know? So if you're not sure what products you need, and again, remember, it's a great tool for the business as well. But if you're not sure what products you need, you can take the quiz. Sometimes we like to do it live if we have a little time, but I don't think we do today. Um, our favorite things, Lisa, what are some of your favorite things? Okay, so I, I did not tell you about this, but I forgot how much I love this recharge detox mask. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so... <laughs> And the reason I like it so much is that, you know, there are a lot of charcoal masks on the market. And the thing that I love about this one is that it's so rich and hydrating and creamy, which is not what you think of when you think of a charcoal mask. Um, I love when I put it on that it is creamy and thick and, and it doesn't really dry and it certainly doesn't crack. And when I take it off, I don't know what ingredient it is or whether it's a combination of the ingredients that are used but my skin is just like boing, like glowing glowing um it's designed to protect your skin against environmental aggressors it's designed to detoxify your skin with fortified charcoal it works to draw impurities out um environmental pollutants out um but it's hydrating with coconut seed or um, mango seed butter, coconut oil, avocado oil. I mean, you can hear that the ingredients are just luscious and, and delicious. And um, yeah, it's one of my favorite masks. I like all things silver in Rodana Fields. I <laughs> love the of hydration. I woke up this morning and my my temperature gauge said minus 24. Mm. I'm going to tell you if you live in any kind of climate um, where you experience, I, you Hawaii girls, you don't count, um, but where you, <laughs> you have extreme fluctuations in your seasons, um, this is, you can't live without it. But it's an amazing balancing serum for anyone with acne. Um, um, it helps boost your skin's hydration and resilience um, for sensitive skin. And just to me is this kind of layer of, there's a big difference between hydration and moisture. Um, you know, women, we, we grew up hopefully with some kind of moisturizing in our cabinet, um, but hydration is very different. Uh, think about a grape, right? And a raisin. The difference between the two isn't moisture. The difference hydration um, is really having that um, kind of um, dewy um, hydration, that hyaluronic acid, next to your skin where it's, you know, with glycerin pulling moisture from the atmosphere. So I get 200 times the hydration. So even on a day like today where it's still below zero, it's, it's like up to like minus five or something, but I still feel dewy. Um, the atmosphere is not impacting me at all. So my favorite, favorite. And one other favorite I want to mention, because we want to give this away as a free enrollment. Um, if you are interested in enrolling in the business, um, free ice cream. So this is a fair, I know it's your favorite. We were talking earlier about some of our faves. I'm looking at your gorgeous photo there with the brow boost. Who girl, you sexy. You sexy mama, love it. Um, <laughs> You're so funny. I like this picture because it shows the difference. I did my left eyebrow yep. with dark brow boost and nothing on my right. And you can see that in like a few seconds of just applying the product, I've got that instant, I mean, it oh, really oh. does. Hmm? 
Bye bye boom. <laughs> That's great. So a few of our favorites. I've been using the products, you know, long, long time. Um, uh, 11 years, you're four years. I started when I was 44. So I believe I wouldn't look the way I do now. I took control when I was 44. Before then, I didn't have a clue. Um, <laughs> so, so our company, our, you know, our head of R&D, Dr. Tim Fala, our doctors, we're all about kind of solving these underlying issues with your skin. We're a multi-med science company. So we're all about the regimen. And that's actually what that birdie article was about that we looked at earlier is the multiple steps got to exfoliate you got to get rid of that dead skin and you guys even in your 20s you know and 30s you still have dead skin that you need to remove so that the products you do use can work their magic and if there are products and they're you to work their magic okay oh, we have somebody else joining us i'm so happy okay so um so those products are you know um, in this multi-step for a reason. So we're gonna exfoliate, we're going to tone, and our toners are all about prepping those pores so that the next step that's packed either with, you know, retinoids or vitamin C, like the, you know, kind of that good active um, anti-aging ingredients or acne ingredients can get where they're supposed to go, you know, beneath the surface of the skin, into the skin to work their magic. So we've got a line, um, Teen and adult acne were number one in both categories. We've been, we were sun damage cool, you know, long before, um, you know, long before people even knew what sun damage really was. Anti-aging and wrinkles, that's our flagship. That's, that's that $4.4 billion market that we're going after. Um, sensitive skin, you know, 75% uh, of us at any given time have sensitive skin. And then we have a great line for, those of you, you know, in your 20s, 30s, you're not yet seeing the signs of aging. And I've actually got this cool little um, graph. I don't know if it's coming up right now. I won't spend a ton of time here, but you know, all these women, they're not necessarily Redet Fields customers. They're just, they all look beautiful in their skin, but you can see the progression of age um, and the things that happen. And I'm just here to say, you young women, um, the thing that ages first on us, we don't realize is our eyes. The skin is so delicate, it ages first. Um, so, you know, a lot of people think, oh, I'm 20, I don't need an eye cream. Yes, you do. <laughs> you need to start with an eye cream now or our eye bright product. Um, but you're gonna start noticing as you graduate from the 30s into the 40s, a big difference in your collagen production. Um, you're, you know, you want those retinoids and hyaluronic acid. You know, a company like ours, we're bringing really new cutting edge stuff to the market. You know, this Bakuchi oil that we have in our new redefined regimen, it's a plant-based retinol. Okay, people, that's impressive, right? <laughs> so even people with sensitive skin um, who couldn't use any kind of retinol type product before can use our name. <clears throat> and then as you get older, exfoliation becomes more important using things like microneedling, our lash and brow boost, I think when you're in your 20s and 30s, is just an awesome luxury. You're going to see my daughter's lashes here in just a minute. <laughs> and, um, it's just an awesome luxury. But when you're in your 50s and 60s, it's a necessity. <laughs> those lads are falling out and they're not coming back or they're taking forever to grow back. And those brows, they start to thin, gray, uh, sparse. You know, So there's kind of things that we have that some of our younger audiences, it's just a, oh, you know, I get to take my lashes from here to there, you know, whereas I'm like, I don't have any, so I need this. Um, and then as we get older, you know, in our 70s, 80s, 90s, you know, we want to keep using these products, but we really want to watch out for moisture loss and hot showers and, you know, make sure we've got the, the peptides and we're taking care of our lips and our hands and all the things. So um, I kind of created this from a blog series that was on the doctor's blog, and they just talked about all the products you needed at different ages. So we kind of just put it in one spot. And I think Lisa, you have more, you, you reference oftentimes like your customers that are in their 60s, 70s, like, I don't know if you have any things that they've shared with you too, that they're happy about with the products. Well, you know, it really depends on the customer's issues. I mean, all of the regimens with the exception of the um, spotless, which is the teen acne line, the two-step acne line and the recharge line, right? Um, 
the sort of millennial, you know, 19 to 29, 30, um, all the other products are anti-aging products. So whether my customer is, you know, trying to get rid of some sun damage or discoloration or like a mottled sort of, um, you know, patchy look, when they get on this consistent regimen of, of having the right ingredients penetrate their skin in different levels into the epidermis and the dermis, um, you know, it's the same ingredients being administered to your skin in different levels. And so the consistency of morning and evening of three or four, or maybe even five products, um, depending on your tolerance for that, they're reporting that they feel so much better about themselves because they're loving the way their skin is looking and they're finding um, some sooner rather than later that they don't need to put foundation on. And when you're an older woman, putting foundation on sort of exacerbates that sort of look that they're trying to avoid. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, well, and here's, you know, here's kind of the proof, you know, is in the before and after photos. Um, so some great, you know, you talked about that self-esteem and that confidence, um, you know, this, this woman here, I mean, just want to just throw her a parade, you know, I just can't imagine the, the, just the stress of just putting yourself together in the morning and just having just other things that maybe somebody else doesn't have to deal with and having the acne and the redness. So it goes to her for finding Rodana Fields. And we hear it over and over again. Like, I wish I had started to start Why did I wait? <laughs> this gentleman with the sensitive skin, splotchy, uneven, you know, really seeing that calming just after three weeks. My own son, God bless him on the spot list there. Um, and uh, you're seeing the effects of the reverse. You know, when we see that freckling and the uneven skin tone and flaky and all that. It's just, we've just, over the years of our lives, the sun has just, you know, it's just done too much damage and it's time to start taking back all those layers. Um, we're not leaving the men out here too. Look at the eye cream on the, on the hottie there in the bottom picture. Um, and the redefined regimen for, I mean, I look at her, she looks 18 to me, but she might be in her twenties, but you know, here's somebody, you know, using um, our anti-aging regimen you know, really on what I think is, is young looking skin. We already saw your brows and then there's Tanya's brows. So um, I've got a couple more before and afters for you guys, but it's really all about you get to be in control, you know, helping you with your confidence, those underlying skin concerns. Um, we'll dive a little bit deeper into the aging. Everything ages, people, the eyes, the lips, <laughs> you know, the face, the nose, the decollete, you know, the hands, all the things. Um, and we cover um, all of those, but again, here's some great, you know, look at this cute young thing on the left, but, you know, already see, I'm guessing she lives in a really dry climate. We're seeing the effects of that dryness right there on her skin. And I can pretty much tell she's an active hydration user. <laughs> I love it. Um, and then uh, Jenna, you know Jenna really well, um, her before and afters on the redefine. So, you know, really helping, can keep you out of the dermatologist's office, bringing that derm experience direct to your doorstep. Um, I tell people, unless you don't like getting compliments, you know, um, <laughs> um, you know, then then go ahead and, and use something from the shelves at Target. But um, you know, I love you just see huge. We could analyze this guy's face for days and the wrinkles on the forehead that are gone, the layers and layers and layers of, of stress and aging that are happening underneath his eyes the evening of the skin tone, all the things. I'm powering through because we're going a little bit long. Um, and then, the you know, our whole other line, everything else, I mean, all of it is really about being in control of your hey, authentic hair. I'm oh, so excited sorry. to Let's share my Anifield Lash Boost with you. So if you're looking for some letter-worthy fringe this Valentine's, look no further than Lash Boost. So what this is, is a lash enhancement serum. It's clear. You just swipe, swipe, upper lash line before bed each night. Blink, it'll transfer it down to the bottom. And within eight to 12 weeks, you'll have bang lashes like these. Longer looking, fuller looking, darker looking lashes. Thanks to Rodan Fields Lash Boost. Thanks, Tanya. I want some of that brow action on that girl too. I love it. <laughs> But again, on you know, on your terms, 
Um, there's my daughter there next to her as another lash model for Rodina Fields. Um, I love it and I would have no lashes at all if it weren't for Rodina Fields. Um, but again, choosing products that really let you be in control of how you look. Um, our Radiant Defense, we have not given it the due. It's deserved. Um, you, you kind of closed out, Lisa, with, um, you know, breaking up with your makeup. And, and I, my daughter has said this to me. She goes, I want to look like I'm wearing makeup, but I'm not. <laughs> and that's kind of the goal of that younger audience. Um, for me, the goal is just to, eat, you know, I've just done so much sun damage and I didn't even start working on it until I was in my 40s. So um, I'm about, you know, just managing and keep, keeping that evenness. But I want to look young and dewy. Um, and I want to look like my skin looks. I don't want to look covered up. And so I love our Radiant Defense comes in 10 shades, has a cool little brush um, and, uh, that you uh, apply with. And this young girl in the middle is, they're all amazing examples of what this product can do. Um, but just the benefits, you know, anti-inflammatory, um, has a great SPF in it, um, helps kind of minimize any appearance of pores, um, has a great, Kind of again that anti-inflammation anti-stress our young audiences love it for just those kind of stressful college or young career um, times in their life just helps keep the skin calm and and from going red what's um what's your shade miss lisa I actually combine i combine two shades yeah i love number three and number four i go by number i don't go by name okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're golden. I go by name. <laughs> I'm I'm beige, which is um two and three. Sand. And I mix them like like in the winter, I'm much lighter. And so it's like one drop of one or you know, two two beige, one sand. And then it's, it's, it's really fun because you can actually customize it. And I know women, I don't personally do this, but I know women will take sort of the darker uh shades and use it as um uh contour. Yeah. Or so it, it's a really interesting product. It's super fun. Or they've done like full on, you know, Halloween things. They've leopards. And yeah, it's been really cool. We love this product. So becoming a preferred customer um, for those of you that are interested. So we've talked about the business for you know, the first part of the presentation. Money back guarantee. You're saving 10%, sometimes 20, sometimes more because we do have awesome sales. And our preferred mm -hmm. customers are always the first to get everything. So if you're somebody who likes to be a little bit of a beauty insider, um, being a preferred customer has a lot of perks. Um, you're always getting free shipping. Um, we now have free shipping back too. So if there is something that, you know, in the collection that you get that isn't the perfect fit, we want you to send it back. Money back guarantee. Now, you know, click through the back office, print a label, and you can send it back to the company. Um, and they're happy to, you know, give you that full, full refund. So, you know, it's a very kind of risk-free, I thought our preferred customers love it because it's like having like an, I don't know, was it an Amazon membership or a, I don't know, something like that, but where, you know, you get all the benefits, you control what you get and our products are packaged in 60 day supply. So this is 60 days. This is 60 days. Um, you're never... You're, if anything, my customers move up their orders and I go, you know, I'm going on vacation or I'm just, you know, I'm loving the toner. I just went through it faster than, you know, the other stuff or whatever. So they're moving it up as opposed to oh, getting too much stuff. So you don't get an order from us every 30 days. Um, it's at 60 and you're in control. You can pause it. You can change it, um, try something else. And I think you're getting a sense that there are lots of things, um, we didn't even cover them all. We kind of kept it pretty core um, in our conversation today. Um, to become a preferred customer um, or a, a consultant, if you want to take advantage of that 55% off on that VIP box, it takes two to three minutes. Um, you know, if you're not sure kind of the right combination for you, you know, reach out to the consultant that invited you, um, take the solution tool um, and, you know, find out kind of exactly, and you can, you know, kind of start off with a regimen and add stuff on over time, get, use that VIP box, get everything <laughs> right now. Can you tell I'm off of that VIP box? Um, but it just takes a couple of minutes. I feel like we've done a pretty good job at asking questions as we go, but, um, you know, if there was something 
top of mind for anyone. Or I know um, Deb joined us late. We did spend quite a bit of time kind of going over the business, but we can, if you had questions, we can cover that later. Um, we did record it, so there's a replay here. But um, can we open it up for questions. Yeah, you can pop it in the chat if you want. I can also let me stop the share. Let me see each other again. Hi. Hello. I know everyone's like, I'm working, I'm doing other things, I'm not going to put my video on. But if you had a question for us, you could do audio. Yes, no. That's what we're here for. And what we might do is might turn off the recording. And uh, yeah. Oh, did your friend Debbie come, Tiana? Or is that, I, no, I have a friend Deb too. I don't know. Somebody, we all have a good friend named Debbie. So. <laughs> <laughs> We're happy that you came on and joined us. All right. Hi, Jen Tims. Hi. Hi. Can I ask a quick question? Yeah. So my girlfriend's going to be listening to the recording, and she wasn't able to hop on. Um, but she is a hairdresser, and she was just kind of curious. She just ordered mm -hmm. some products, and they're on the way, and she's really excited. But how would something like that look like? for somebody like her, who obviously she has lots of people that she's helping feel good in their hair and in their chair all the time. Can you kind of map out that picture of what that would look like? I mean, Lisa, one of your power partners is like major salon owner. I mean, uh, I have lots of things to say about it, but I'd love to hear um, how you've experienced her rock, her business. <laughs> she, yeah. So, I mean, you know, the, these type of beauty people, hairdressers, estheticians, uh, makeup artists, you know, it's such a great way for them to expand their ability to make their customers feel beautiful. Um, it, it just goes hand in hand with hair, with makeup, um, with esthetician, with nursing, with teaching. I mean, just all of it, you know, um, and so when you say, Jen, like, what does that look like for her? Well, it really depends on what she wants to do with it because there's 18 different ways that she could do this. So it depends on, you know, how big she wants to go. So does she want to carry it, um, you know, in her salon? She, does she want to just give samples to everybody who comes in her chair? Does she want to, you know, this is something that would be best discussed sort of on a three-way call with you, me, and her, or you, her, and Bridget, or even uh, Misha, who's on our collab, um, who's the hair day salon owner that um, Bridget's referring to. So Bridget actually has some incredible building, uh, business building ideas, especially with launch events. Um, for people in that industry but i do think it would be better on a three-way call because it's sort of an advanced yeah all i would say is i would love to be here i would love my hairstyle and rock in this business yeah <laughs> customer in my chair that Amazing. i could spoil right with like while i'm doing the hair like, hey girl put some of this on your hands you know what i mean like i would you know i've had to build this from a you know from a a little tiny office, you know, or from a coffee shop in Montana. And so I think about, wow, to be able to kind of serve my customers, just spoil them like crazy with the samples, like Lisa mentioned, um, and have a business that, you know, allowed me to really grow the, my income potential and grow the things I dream about and want to do in my life beyond the driving distance to my salon, beyond my appointment book. Um, and that is what happens with our business is that the referrals, you know, once somebody um, starts using the products, they, it's just, they're walking around, they're just walking around as a big referral billboard. And so um, that's what would happen with all her clients. And I do have a lot of numbers and things too, like converting clients and, you know, average, you know, income per client and things like that. So let her know when you're watching the replay that we have lots more for you. Um, but you can do, I mean, stuff. you know, if, if, if I were her, I would have every shade of the brow boost in a little jar, um, in my counter so that when I'm doing my customer's hair, she can take all four out and shade match herself or step over to my radiant defense station. I have all 10 shades. Here are some throwaway little sponges. Let's get you shade matched. Which two would you like? 
Um, you know, there's Lash Boost right here. You can either buy it right now or I can order for you and it can be delivered. Christmas gifts, uh, you know, I mean, the ideas are endless for all of us, but especially, especially hairdressers, salon owners, makeup artists, estheticians. Well, and she was so excited because, you know, like everyone this year, she's like, I didn't have people in my chair for so many months and still it's kind of coming in waves. And she's like, I just, I need to think about that and diversify my income. And she just loves helping people. So, you know, to be able to do that, no matter whether you can be physically in person or not, is just such a cool opportunity. So I'll share this with her and we can do a call. Thank you. Tiana said it in the chat, which she won't be able to see, but I was like, my hair stylist recommends something, I'd buy it. <laughs> oh, for sure. I trust her with my life. <laughs> oh, I love it. Great question. Great question. Anybody else? Steph, I don't know if you're still with us. I appreciate you inviting Thomas and i um, glad that his daughter's looking at the business. Seely, I'm glad that um, Tabitha, was her name Tabitha, was on with us. So, um, yeah, yeah, she seemed awesome. We did run a little long, so thank you guys. It was kind of our first time piling all that together, but I liked it. I thought it was really good. <laughs> all right, I'm going to stop recording. Any other things coming in from you guys? Okay, all right, got thumbs up from everybody. Okay, you guys have an awesome weekend, and I will get this recorded. I'll post it on some of the team pages and stuff so you guys can send it out. Okay, all right. Thank you. Bye. Thanks.